I have been in Austin 23 years and I have stayed here because it's a phenomenal place to live and to work and to be an entrepreneur. Uh, I started my first company um, just a few years after I moved here and at this point I have an extraordinary group of friends, chosen family, colleagues, um, people that really support me in the endeavor of being an entrepreneur and I can't imagine doing, doing this anyplace else. One person told me early on that the truth is always right there. You just have to listen to it. And so when it comes to being an entrepreneur and you're starting something, you know, I really encourage people to look for the truth and listen to it. Listen to your customers. They're giving you very real feedback. Be willing to hear it. Um, if they're giving you the feedback that what you have doesn't matter to them, then don't be afraid to stop. You know, your employees, your partners are giving you real feedback. Listen to it, take action on it and be selfless in your willingness to hear what's right before you. I'm really authentic in my relationships with people, try to be at least, and uh, consequently I love, I love building teams and I take a lot of pride in assembling a team that's the right capability, um, personality for whatever the, the project that we're working on is. I started my first company in 1993 uh, called Monsterbit and Monsterbit was one of the first web development companies in, uh, in Austin and, and in the nation. And we built websites for people that needed a voice. We felt like the internet was a great voice. And so we focused on arts and entertainment organizations, musicians, etc., and consequently kind of became the, the go-to developer for web development in the entertainment space. So Monsterbit from 93 to 97 did some really fun things. We built a lot of the first websites, the first South by Southwest website, the first Capitol Records website. Um, we did a lot of the first internet broadcasts um, and we just really explored what the internet could do for the entertainment space. Uh, Frontgate Tickets is one of the largest privately held ticketing companies in the nation. We focus on primary market ticketing, which means we sell tickets directly for the venues, the festivals, and the promoters that are our clients, as opposed to secondary market ticketing, which is the uh, stub hub type of environment. I had a client, a web development client, who came and said that they were having problems with their ticketing vendor and that they needed to find a new system, and so they hired me as a consultant to go look at the alternatives out there. Uh, when I realized they were all antiquated and very expensive, I went back and I said, hey, if you'll give me six months and uh, be my first client, I'll give you a piece of the company and we'll start a new ticketing competitor to Ticketmaster. So that was October of 2002. Um, Jesse, Jack, my, my business partner and I, went into hiding in my living room, spent five months building the first system, and in February 2003 we sold our first ticket. It was later that year that we landed our largest client who became a strategic partnership um, with C3 Presents and we started selling tickets for the Austin City Limits Festival, Lollapalooza. Um, people were really friendly towards us in the beginning. They understood that we loved music, we came from a music culture. So by virtue of the competition in the market, we had a sandbox to start in that we might not have had in other communities. You know, community to me, uh, Austin as a community, I think benefits from a healthy entrepreneurial base. It's a great place to come together and you share war stories and lessons learned and you share access to um, people, places, ideas, resources to help get things done. But in the last 10 years, I feel like it's matured its processes for dealing with the growth that we've dealt with and I think it's matured its economy. And, you know, I'm a proponent of growth. I think you have to grow to get to the next place. So I don't want to keep Austin the same uh, necessarily, but I do hope that it can find that sweet spot where the growth still reflects the core of its character, which is that it's a pretty wonderful, funky place.